Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with another review of the SEMA X8C. Now, if you notice, uh, the quality of the video might not be as good as my normal uh, videos. I'm using my 808 keychain camera on my hat today, and the reason being, if you look closely, we got my Mobius camera attached to the X8C. And it is attached using a helmet camera mount that you can find these on eBay for about two dollars, two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents uh, from China, or about five dollars uh, from importers here in the U.S. Um, it's a really nice little mount. I I like it. It holds the Mobius very well. Um, it's easily attached. It has this sticky tape on it, on the top of it, uh, to mainly intended to attach it to a, a helmet of a, a like a motorcycle rider uh, or a skier, what have you. <laughs> But in this case, I'm just attaching it directly to the plastic of the belly of the XHC and it adheres to it very well. But just for safety's sake, so I don't lose my, well, there we go, never mind. I'm not going to retie that. This came loose. This was a little um, cord that I attached to it to uh, hold on, hold the quadcopter on uh, in case uh, this tape would let loose. But I'm very confident in this tape. This tape, uh, I did a flight already with it and it holds it very well and it's hard as heck to pull this thing off again. So we're going to do a flight with the aid, with the Mobius camera attached to this quadcopter strictly with this camera mount. Um, one thing about this camera mount that I really like is you can adjust the camera angle to any angle you desire up or down or even point it straight up and down if you put it like this and turn the, the camera around and swivel it around you can get direct look directly downward. So it is a good mount for this quadcopter. Um, since this quadcopter is mainly intended for aerial video, let's try it with a heavier camera. We're going to do the Mobius, but again, you can use a GoPro. There are similar mounts made for GoPro like this, with the same adhesive tape uh, to stick to helmets or quadcopters, if you will. So let's go for a flight and see how this performs. Following this flight, I'm going to do comparison flights. Uh, this is going to be a short video flight, but after this flight, we'll do a comparison flight of this X8C versus the Tarantula. <laughs> just to compare uh, the maneuverability of the two and, how, and the flight performance of the two. It's just going to be a short demonstration. Okay, Quadcopter 101 signing out. i got to get ready. I'm going to send my wife down to the pylon down there. We're going to do a range test first. Okay, hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, my wife is standing down by the pylon. That pylon's a good 125 meters away, as measured by Google Maps. Uh, she's going to raise her arms when I fly overhead to confirm that I've reached the pylon. So that's why she's standing down there. Uh, let's turn on, first off, turn on the camera, the Mobius. Okay, Mobius is on. Mobius is recording, turning on the quadcopter pointing a quadcopter at the pylon so we can set that as the reference heading for the uh, headless motor in case we need it. Turning on the transmitter, binding it to the quadcopter, and away we go. And I'm just climbing and heading toward the pylon, waiting for my wife to raise her arms. Is it there yet? Not yet? Is it overhead? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to fly too far. So that's 125 meters. The reason I did that is. The range of this quadcopter is advertised at uh, only 50 meters, and that is false. This quadcopter has well over 100 meters range. Uh, I did this yesterday, and the video didn't come out well because I was trying a different camera for my helmet camera, and it kind of uh, recorded over this video with a, the follow-on video that I did with the tarantula. But um, yeah, the range on this is more than 100 meters. Let's try to rotate here and hover. It's actually got very good range. I'm estimating it's probably, I don't know, 
I, I'm not going to estimate because I have no idea what the range is. But again, this is a camera bird. This quadcopter is not really meant for maneuverability. I'm going to have to go to high here. There's a wind there. Right at that level. I was in low. But as a camera bird, it is a good quadcopter. If you, you're looking for a GoPro lifter, this is the budget GoPro lifter to get. But again, this is not for beginners, as I mentioned. You'll always get a beginner saying, can it lift my GoPro? Yeah, it can lift your GoPro, but you're probably going to say goodbye to your GoPro if you get this as your first quadcopter. <laughs> all, and the reason I'm saying that is, all beginners have to go through the school of hard crashes. <laughs> You just can't avoid it in learning to fly a quadcopter. Everybody crashes. And uh, to do such, to learn to fly, you should be using a quadcopter that can take uh, those crashes. And this one being one in the third pound has got a lot of momentum when it hits the ground, so you don't want to use this one as your learn to fly bird. Okay, that's enough of demonstration of the mount. Let's bring it in now. Let's compare the uh, performance of this versus the um, tarantula. I'm getting a lot of requests for that. So, I'm going to try to make you folks happy. Going back to low. And we'll do a flight comparison of this quadcopter, the X-8C, versus the tarantula. And first off, I want my Mobius camera back on my helmet. <laughs> So let's land this and do such. Turning off the transmitter. Remember to do that before you approach this thing. And turn off the quadcopter and turning off this flight video. Okay, we got the Mobius back on my hat. Um, let's start. I took the Mobius off there. I don't have any uh, camera attached, but again, we're just looking at the maneuverability of this quadcopter. We're going to be flying relatively close. Um, I turned the quadcopter on, pointing it at the pylons to set the headless mode in case I need it. Turning on the quadcopter, binding it, and let's just go right to high. Because we're going to compare performance of this versus the tarantula. Okay, accelerating away. Maneuverability. This is the funnels that it can do. <laughs> At full high. Again, this is not a quadcopter that's meant for uh, acrobatics. It can do. There's the funnels that'll do it full high. Not very maneuverable at all, right? But again, it's not meant to be. It's meant to carry a camera. Let's do a high-speed pass. It can be fast. Let's do that again. Again, this is a fast. It's fast quadcopter. It's got a lot of power, and again, it's got a lot of momentum. So I'm not. I'm trying to keep this away from myself. <laughs> this would hurt me if I got hit by it. This would hurt anybody if I got hit by it. So it's fast. It's just not maneuverable. You need a lot of space to turn. Understand? Not maneuverable at all. So this can easily smack into people if you're not careful. I want to stay away from it. Okay, let's try a climb. How fast is a climb? Let's bring it in a little close and slow. Slow it down a bit. Are we ready? We're going to do a high speed climb here. And throw it to full. Well, it takes off. It certainly does. But Again, I think the tarantula is a little faster because this has got a lot of uh, weight to lift. And I don't want to do that too much like that because that might burn out the motors on this one. <laughs> so again, a lot of power on this quadcopter. A lot of power. It's, it can be fast. But with that speed, got a lot of momentum, so you got to be careful with it. Let's try a bank, hard bank turn. Ready, set, turn it. it. Needs a lot of room to turn. 
Okay, I'm gonna, I think that's enough, Debo. I don't want to hurt the motors on this flying like that. Again, if you fly like that with this big bird, you're probably gonna hurt your motors, so be careful. Aww. I landed upside down. Okay, turning off the transmitter. I should have done that before even thinking. And turning off the quadcopter. Okay, quadcopter's off. That's how you the uh, tarant or the X8C flies. Uh, let's go into a flight of the tarantula and compare the performance of the tarantula to this. Okay, now it's the turn of the tarantula. I got the battery in there already. It's ready to go. We're going to point it on the ground here. Uh, point it at the pylon to set that as the base heading. Turn it on the transmitter. Going right to high. Now, now this has 3B Pi. Super expert. <laughs> and let's compare. Oh man, this thing turns on a dime. So again, the X8C is meant for uh, the X8C is meant for uh, cameras. This one could carry a camera too, but uh, really, it's meant for performance. It's a high-performance quadcopter. Um, again, flying like this can wear out motors if you fly too aggressively. But comparing it, see. It needs no room at all to turn or do funnels. It does very tight funnels as you can see here. No problem at all in maneuverability. So highly maneuverable, very fast. Let's show how fast. Extremely fast. <laughs> it's a hell of a pitch on this thing. So, it's again like it's there's two Chevys here. We got two cheap quadcopters, but we're comparing a Corvette to a Chevy Suburban. You know, it's two different purposes for those two different vehicles, two different purposes for these two different quadcopters. Again, the XHC is meant to carry your GoPro. This one here is, can carry a camera, but it's meant to have fun with too. So. That's a quick flight. Um, actually, I'm just going to fly this until I get bored with it. Let's try, which is probably not a long time before I ever get bored with this quadcopter. Look at that thing go to space. <laughs> oh, it's a fun quad. It's a giggler. I wouldn't do that with the XHC. I try it with this one though. I don't care. Barrel roll it. That tarantula. I don't know if you, you probably guessed by now that this is one of my favorite quads. Okay, let's land this. That's all I want to do is do a quick comparison. I got enough videos of this thing. Going back to beginner. Let's land this puppy and I'm going to call it a day. So, quick flight of the tarantula showing there is a very difference, very large difference in flight performance between the two quadcopters. Um, but again, different purposes, different objectives for these two quadcopters. So, I hope you enjoyed that flight. This is Quadcopter 101 with my favorite little tarantula here. Signing out.